Okay, here's the question one then. Uh, have a look, pause the video and have a go at it, it's best. And I'll summarize it in written form and work through the solutions now. So here's the summary of the question then. Part A, find the gradient of BC. So we've got these points here. Let's do A part one then, the gradient BC. So A1, not gradient then, of BC is equal to, it's the increase in Y divided by the increase in X, isn't it, between B and C. So the increase in Y7 minus minus 5. So it's a double minus is a plus, divided by the increase in X, 3 minus 6, isn't it? So that's 12 over minus 3, which is minus 4. So that's the gradient BC then. Part 2. Show that the line BC is this. So here's B and here's C. So I'll just copy those. So we're going to take them down. So we might as well just take them down from here. And we want to get the line BC. Okay, let's have a go at the second one then. So part two. So uh, here, uh, y minus, let's say the line goes through c, so it's y minus 7 is equal to the gradient, which is minus 4, times x minus the x coordinate at c, 3. So it has the equation of the line then. So that tells us then y minus 7 is equal to minus 4x, just expand the bracket, minus times minus is plus 4 threes of 12. And so we get, uh, bring the minus 4x over to be plus 4x, leave the y as is, move the 12 over to minus 12, there's a minus 7 already there. So that's minus 19, we've moved both of these over, so it equals 0, and that's what we wanted to show. So that was a part two. Find the equation of the line a d. Okay, uh, perpendicular intersects the line b c. The line there's a b and c. The line through a perpendicular to b c intersects the line b c at d. Okay, so find the equation of the line a d. So this line intersects the line b c at d. So we need the line through a perpendicular to BC. So A is 8, 4. Let's get that line and then see where it meets the other line. The intersection is D. Perpendicular to BC and it goes through 8, 4. So A is 8, 4. Just write it down here. Uh, the line perpendicular to BC. Well, the gradient of BC is minus 4. So the gradient is uh, one quarter, isn't it? So the line y minus the y coordinate is 4 is equal to the gradient, one quarter, times x minus the x value at a, 8. Okay, so we get that then. So this is equation, so we get y minus 1, 4, minus 1 quarter x plus 8, equals naught. So what I did was that we, ex I did it quite quickly because we expanded this bracket, we get, oh, that's not right. Let's just change that then. I'll just expand the bracket here rather than try and do too many things. So that's equal to one quarter x and then minus two, isn't it? So what do we get? We get uh, one quarter x, move the y over, minus y, that's moved over there. Move the minus 4 over to plus 4. 4 take 2 is 2. Everything is over this side, and there's nothing on this side, so that's equal to 0. So this can be labeled 1. This can be labeled 2. Right, okay. So that was the line perpendicular to BC through A. And it intersects the line BC at D. So where these two meet then is D. So at D then. So let's do 1 plus 2, where these lines meet. We'll add them because the y and the minus y will cancel. That uh, gives. So what do we get then? We get 4x plus a quarter x 
is 4 and a quarter, which is 17x over 4. The y's cancel. Um, minus 19 plus 2 is minus 17, isn't it? When we had this, these two numbers equals 0. So the 17's will cancel. So that tells us then that 17x over 4 equals 17. And we can cancel by 17 both sides. And now move the 4 up from times, uh, divide to times up there. So x is 4. So that's what we've got there then, x is 4. Uh, so what does y equal then? Well y, here from here, will equal x is 4. So we'll move that over, 4, minus 2, uh, 4 minus 2 plus a quarter x plus 1 quarter times 1, which is 1, uh, 1 quarter x, which is 4. That's 1 then, plus 4 is 5, minus 2 is 3. So y equals 3. So d has coordinates then, 4 and 3, which is what we wanted to show. So let's go back to the question now then. We found d. Find the equation of line AD, so that was part 3, and then this was part B. So I must have missed reading part 3, mustn't I? Okay, so part C, find the length BD. So B is 6 minus 5, D is 4, 3, isn't it? 6 minus 5, and D is 4, 3. So this is part C now. Length, oops. Length B D is equal to uh, use Pythag square root of the differences in the side squared. So four minus six, the difference is two, so that'd be two squared. Difference between minus five and three is eight, so that'd be eight squared. One two. Sixty-four plus four is sixty-eight. Root sixty-eight, which is equal to thirty sixty-eight thirty-four and seventeen. So that'd be four seventeens, wouldn't it? So that would tidy up to two root seventeen. Okay, that's length BD then. That's part C. And then the line AD is extended to E so that D is the midpoint of AE. So we've got A, we've got D is extended to E so that D is the midpoint of AE. Find the coordinates of E. Okay, so we've got A, we've got D. A is 8, 4, D is 4, 3, so we've got A, D, and is extended to E. A is the coordinates, um, what was it, 8, 4, 8, 4. Uh, D is the coordinate 4, 3, and D is now the midpoint, so E will have coordinates. for well, 8 to 4 to 0, wouldn't it, for, to be the mid middle? And 4 to 3, this would need to be 2 for 3 to be the middle between 2 and 4, isn't it? Here, E has coordinates 0, 2. So let's have a look at the question. Uh, find the coordinates of E, so that's that done.